Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at participial adjectives. That's right. Like exciting and excited. So let's get started. Let's first take a look at what adjectives are, right? They are words that give more information about nouns. A noun is a person, place, feelings, or a thing. A good student completes all assignments in class. So here we have student, that is a noun, that's right. And the adjective, yes, is good. We can also make adjectives out of present and past participles of verbs. Like, for example, verb uh, bore. Present participle, boring. Past participle, bored. Or amaze, to amaze. So present participle, amazing. Past participle, amazed. How do we use present participles? Well, present participles modify a noun that affects someone or something else. Examples, please. Yes, that's right. Let's look at some examples now. Okay, so we have the first example. His job is frustrating. Okay, his job is frustrating. A frustrating job. Yes, that's right. Another one. Jennifer is interesting. Hmm, yes, she is. Another one. The atmosphere was relaxing. A relaxing atmosphere. Okay, so that's the present participles. So, how do we use past participles? Past participles modify a noun that is affected by someone or something else. Yeah, that's easy. Let's take a look at some examples. Well, we have the present participle, like for example, the museum is interesting, right? Work is tiring. The movie is exciting. Okay, with present participles. How about if we want to use past participles? Well, you can say, the museum is interesting. I'm interested. Okay, so work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I am excited. So let's take a look at more examples. So we said his job is frustrating, but he doesn't feel defeated. Okay, feel defeated. That's the past participle right there. Jennifer is interesting, we said, right? And I'm captivated by her. Captivated is your past participle. Another example. The atmosphere was relaxing, yet the class was focused. Okay, so we have focused, the past participle, and remember the present participle, relaxing. So pay attention though. Some past participles do not end in ed. They are irregular past participles, like for example, we can say a stolen car or broken heart, hidden treasure or ground sun. So let's look at another example. Yes, the teacher is boring. Oh my God. And the students, yeah, the students are bored. Look at them. They're sleeping, they're yawning. Yes, they're bored. So we said, the teacher is boring, and the class is bored. Yes, because the teacher is boring, the students feel bored. Yeah, well, now it's better. So now let's do some practice. Correct or incorrect? Write down the sentences that you think are incorrect and try to correct them. I'll give you five minutes. Pause your video. 
Now that you have your answers, let's take a look at the key. I am confused about the assignment that's due tomorrow. It was that I am confusing. No, I am confused. Number two is correct. The boy was embarrassed. Number three is incorrect. Marine biology is a fascinating subject, not fascinated subject. Number four, incorrect. Space is an interesting place. So, interesting, not interested. Five, six, and seven were correct. And number eight was incorrect. So, I was shocked. No, I was shocking. I was shocked when I heard the news. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions about this lesson, please post your question under the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the lesson, hit on the like button, please, and you may share the lesson with your friends. Until next time, bye-bye.